What it do, ladies and gentlemen, we have Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. I believe we're starting off on episode 4 or chapter 4. I don't know why they call it episodes these days. But um, yeah, we're starting off wherever we left off last time. Uh, if you're new around here, hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button, please. It would really mean the world to me. And with all that being said, let's get into the chapters. Fuck, what is this? What the hell's going on? And then there was mass panic. Finch. Oh my god. <laughs> She is gonna be traumatized for life. Literally, that's the face of a girl that's. <laughs> she ain't never gonna forget this. That's strange. Why hasn't he appeared yet? The events I'm familiar with, ish, and those I didn't know were even part of the story. Wait, what? And those I didn't know were even part of the story were all happening at once. Okay. Or is this a complete sentence and I'm just freaking reading on? And those. The events I'm familiar with, and those. I didn't know. We're even part of the story world happening at once. Oh, bro, my brain is just not functioning right now, okay? I just got back from work a couple hours ago. Uh, yeah, it's, it's rough out here. If I could just read, uh, I forgot what this stood for, bro. Again, I could know what to do. Damn it, I guess it was removed, but why? This series isn't even popular, so I doubt someone would have tried to illegally share. <laughs> That's tough, bro. That's tough. Wait a minute. Oh, shit, he got a PNG file. No, it can't be. Oh, he got the script? Save all three ways to survive the f Oh, shit, he got the whole book? He's like, Nani? <laughs> oh my god. He pulled the freaking goddamn the, 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 the cartoon shit, bro. Is this is what I'm seeing real? Head ass. Save all. Did he send me his novel of the present? Isn't this illegal <laughs> shit? That's what he's worried about. <laughs> why, why, why am I even worried this? Bro, this nigga is worried about illegal sharing where there's literally. <laughs> Mass fucking homicide. Look at this, bro. Hold on. Let me just look at this shit. <laughs> there is literally just mass murder. His head is literally blow blown off. You literally just witnessed murder. <laughs> and this nigga is worried about illegally sharing, bro. He is something else. Oh my god. I don't believe my eyes. <laughs> on top of that, he's literally the author. Like, it's literally that illegal. He's literally giving you permission. Oh my god, bro. He's something else. That ass. You have received an ex exclusive uh, uh, attribute. A skill slot has been unlocked. Each of the... What was it called again? Bro, am I going to have to freaking keep remembering this shit? What is the name of this? Oh, Three Ways to Survive an Apocalypse. I'm going to just call it twice out, bro. I'm just, I'm just not going to remember the acronym the entire time. A skill... Oh, wait, hold on. Each of the uh, twice out survivors receive a special attribute and a skill that is linked to that attribute. It's just like a game. Solo leveling. <coughs> attribute windows. They don't need to figure out my attribute. Uh-huh. Actually, window cannot be open. The fuck is the point of this then? What? <laughs> what? Why would you give me an attribute if I, if I can't even use it? Like, that makes no sense. Attribute window. What the hell's going on? If I can't access my attribute window, I won't be able to find out what my attributes and skills are. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, well, I'll just read the text file first. You can't open it, I guess. I'm assuming your attribute has been activated. You are now able to read it at a faster speed. Oh, my God. They gave this thing the ability to read faster in a world where there's literally... The world is about to end. It's literally the apocalypse. And they gave this motherfucker the attribute to read faster. God just... Bro, God just don't like you. I don't know what to tell you, man. What? That was my attribute? It took me less than a minute to read the opening chapter of the... Oh my God, bro. Wh whatever shall they do? <laughs> you can read. <laughs> what? This is so dumb, bro. What thing said that? Bingo. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He looked at the people gathering at the subway cabin number 3707. He could feel the coldness. Oh, that actually kind of looked fire. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. 3807. It was cabin number 3707. With that, I realized why I had felt so uneasy. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you just get the script? Is that, is that what you're telling me what happened? That's actually looking kind of OP though. That ass. If you know exactly what's gonna happen, you can just avoid all the bad settings and just skip everything, honestly. The reason the event... The events unfolding around me were different from what I remembered was that the protagonist of Twasa Prologue was actually in the cabin, the subway cabin behind this one. Oh, okay. So he deadass is a side character at this point, huh? Wait then, what happens? Oh shit. So this is, it's still useless then. He still don't know what the hell happened in this cabin. What happened to the people in the, in 3807 in the store? It's, it's like, he's just like, God, he has no freaking luck whatsoever. This is actually incredible, deadass. Don't you, should we even try to stop them? Bitch, what? Stop them. What? No. Bro, I am sitting at the corner of the goddamn subway station like this, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with me. If anything, I'm just watching this shit. Hey, listen. 
I ain't got no, I ain't got no beef with no one. What? Stop that shit, bro. See, this is how you get yourself killed, bro. This is literally exactly how you start. This is how you get yourself killed, bro. You know how in the freaking goddamn scary movies they be talking about? Oh, uh, oh, what was that shit that just went bump in the night? Oh, did you hear that? Did you? Did you? It's coming from that freaking cabin that's literally pitch dark. Let's go explore. Head at, get the get the fuck out of here, bro. Hell no, I ain't doing that shit. Again, this got nothing to do with you. Just mind your business. I would never understand this, bro. Cannot be me, literally. Cannot be me. You will, you will find me sitting at the freaking corner, minding my own business, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with this. He took a peek at the chaos and confusion that was unfolding in Subway Cabin 3807. It's probably too late for them after all. Only two people will survive in that cabin. Fuck. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, shut your mouth. Please let me go. Nam Woon Kim. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, I forgot about this dude. Damn. I knew those were... Two people, wait, I knew who were, oh my God, read English, Lord have mercy. I knew who those two people were. Yo, <laughs> why you kind of look on time though? I actually like this nigga, oh my God. Did I tell you to shut, what the fuck did you do? What did you do to this guy, bro? Listen, were you one of those people that didn't mind your business? See, this is, oh, he made, this is exactly, listen, you see her? This is the exact situation that she was trying to put this nigga in, bro. I, I mean, I can't listen, I'm not gonna speak for him, but I feel like if you were to mind your business, you know what I mean? I don't know why he's mad, but I feel like if you would have minded your business, you wouldn't be in the situation. That is a bro. He gave him the fucking bitch slap of hell. Though. God damn, everything went flying. What are you so mad about? Oh yeah, nah. <laughs> I don't know if he fucked this bitch or something, but I don't. <laughs> what the fuck happened to this dude, bro? Why? What did he do? Senga will probably die. Dang, he's still going. God damn, bro. Give it a rest. Uh. Except for those two, everyone in this cabin will die. That's including me. That's dark. What do you think you're doing? Oh, actually, hold on. Let me see this. Only, I am not even trying to say that name. And Namkum told the dude that's bitch laughing everyone right now will survive. It doesn't matter. What matters to me are only those. I can't even see anything else after that because this freaking fat ass finger's in the way. What do you think you're doing? Grab. Oh my God. Are you, brother? See, if you die right now, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna be mad at you. Like, bro, do you know this man? I mean, I here's the thing. If he knows this man. I understand it, but if you're trying to stand up for your boy, completely understand. But if you don't know this nigga and you die because of that, it's your fault. That's all I'm saying, bro. Especially see what he's doing to this man, bro. I would, bro. I'm, you call you can call me pussy. You can call me a bitch, bro. But listen, my mama told me to stay. Listen, not even just my mom, bro. I seen videos. Stay in lane, okay. Stay in your lane. What did Paul you say? I forgot. I forgot what he said, but stay in your lane. You're going to be straight if you stay in your lane. This got nothing to do with you. What are you doing interfering with? Bro, he is literally murdering someone. And you're going to... He's better than me. He probably thinks he can freaking pay this off or something. I don't know. You little brat. Didn't they teach you to respect your elders? He says, well, this man is literally in the middle of murder. Unbelievable. Bro. I don't know if he's just full of himself or he's just dumb. <laughs> he's like, huh? What the hell, old man? Do you want to die too? That's what I'm saying, bro. What? Can't you see what's going on here? That's what I'm saying too, bro. This is that's exactly what I'm saying too. What the hell are you talking about, you brat? Over there, don't you see that? Help me, please. D die! Don't you get it? The army isn't gonna save us, and someone has to die. <laughs> what are you? We have to pick the one who will die. God, oh, <gasps> bro, it's an old lady, bro. It's no okay. Yeah, now nah, this is messed up. Come on, man. I don't know how it, bro. You gotta be a different type of evil to be killing someone that old, man. That's that's crazy. But then again, she has lived her full life. Like, it, let's think about this logic here. Right? I, listen, I ain't know. I don't wanna be that guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be that guy, but she like, what, seven years old, bro? Like, she's lived a full life. It's okay. You know what I mean? You've lived a full life, man. He probably, what, 20, 30? Come on, man, listen. If anything, out of the kindness of her heart, I feel like she should, she should volunteer. I'm gonna keep it with you. Come on now. On some Cam Candace ever listen if Ca if Candace ever was willing to you know what I'm saying I'll treat myself come on man like you 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 67 bro he like what 50 mm, I won't say he's 50 he's probably like what 18 19 20 he got he got a long life to live man you know what I'm saying you already at the you already one foot in come on man you know what I'm saying but this is okay listen this is still an excuse but you're still gonna go to hell but you know what I mean at least you at least you can still live a couple years you're still gonna go to hell okay let's not get that twisted you're still gonna die and go to hell but you can at least you know what I'm saying you, you live a couple years I guess. I know exactly what you're thinking. You think we're above all that. 
how can we kill others just to survive like we're some damn animal i mean we we're literally exactly our animals but i guess normally i would get with shoot i highly doubt that <laughs> you were very quick to jump on this train i don't see anyone else killing people <laughs> i very much doubt that buddy normally i would agree with you but what about the situation we're in yeah see no one else can actually say nothing because he's not wrong per se you know what i mean like it's survival of the fittest at the end of the day that's exactly how we came to be where we are right now we have no choice it's kill or be killed who can blame us when we're when our own lives are even on the line eh, think wisely the world you knew just ended this mother this motherfucker was quick he did not hesitate or nothing and this new world we have new rules to follow he said fuck everything else oh yeah no <clears throat> well you're definitely going to hell now moon kim but at least you survived he was one of the earliest adopters to accept the world of Tosa. I can see why. I swear he I, listen, you know what I think it is? I genuinely think that this motherfucker was crazy to begin with. And this literally this this little excuse, this little excuse gave him this little like end of the world thing gave him an excuse to actually true to show who, who he truly was. Cause you see everyone else, bro, everyone is terrified, literally fucking crying and begging for this shit to end, and they can't believe nothing. Look at this nigga, bro. He is a fucking certified psychopath psychopath, bro. I think he was always a psychopath. He just needed an ex he needed an excuse. You know what I'm saying? To justify this this type of shit. That's all there is to it. It was Nam Moon who drove a wedge into the crack. Are y'all just gonna sit and watch? Do y'all wanna die? And destroy the sense of morality that had been binding society together. Damn, that's it. Fuck this. To hell with it all. That is that's crazy. I can't judge them though, because I would be I would be doing the same damn thing. I'm gonna keep it a sec with you, bro. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's kill or be killed. It's survival of the fittest. Fuck that, I'm gonna do my part, you know what I'm saying? I I gotta live, bro. If no one dies within the next five minutes, everyone in here will die. They're they're jumping the old lady. Oh yo, that is crazy as fuck. I thought they were all fighting in between each other, bro. They, nah, bro, nah. All y'all niggas going to hell. I want you to know that that, that is crazy. You know y'all can just I don't know like just snap a neck or something like you don't gotta do this shit. This is crazy. God damn. I was telling the car line I had read a long time ago. Executioners pulled the lever of the electric chair at the same time. Bro, that is crazy. They do so in order to conceal who really killed the prisoner. This is insane, bro. You could just like just get it over with quick. You don't have to torture her like this. What? It was as if, it was as if I was reading that part of the novel. They were in a different world and I was just a spectator. All I could do was just stand by and watch. Or you could I mean nah, I won't even try to help it. Listen, I gotta take my own advice. Hold on, let me let me just check myself. That nameless elderly woman became the first victim. If I carelessly meddle with the course of the story. There may be less or uh, less of the original plot left for me to work with. He said, fuck that. I got to start. I got to follow the plot line. Come on now. But it is. But is it fair to stand by and watch her die? Yes. Again, like I said, none of your business, bro. Just so that I can live. Yes. It's a kill or be killed world, bro. They're going to kill her. I mean, that's that's kind of the point. <laughs> that's that's kind of the point, bro. Don't be so reckless. It's just it's dangerous. I know. But if you go, they'll kill you, too. Exactly. Mind your business. I guess some people are just destined to shine. No way she actually goes to fight him. Regardless of the genre that they are in. Basanga cannot change the course of the story. Because she isn't the heroine in this world. Senga, stay here. But what? Oh wait, what? But please, just do as I tell you from now. If you listen to me this once, I'll promise I'll, I, I promise I won't ever be bother you again. It's too early for me to interfere. This wasn't part of my plan. No way he's actually gonna fight him, right? Don't you? The reason I didn't interfere sooner wasn't because I was afraid of Nam Moon or the others. Or because I condoned their savage ways. I was just waiting for the right moment, and that moment is now. What the freak is going on here? What happened here? Bro, why did they be having these goddamn panels, man? I can't read this shit. Oh, he he blitzing her. Or them. Prove your value. Kill one or more living organisms. Failure, death, time remaining. I mean, you got, you got enough time, I think, right? Okay. They say he's killing it. So what if someone squished a spider or something? Oh, I do remember. Oh my God, I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. I remember. Yeah. They killed some fucking, uh, like, grasshoppers or some shit. Keep in mind, guys, I did read this story a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, slowly remembering, like, small little bits. It's been a minute, though. Smoke, where is it coming from? The door? Bro, why do people ask such obvious questions, my nigga? What the hell is he doing? 
Oh, damn. Oh, shit. He tackled the fuck out of him. Okay. Hold on a second. Ugh. What the hell? Okay, so he's clearly not taking my opinions. <laughs> fuck. What's your problem? I don't... Hey, you tell me, man. I, listen, I... I you mind your own business. He fucking up. He fucking up everything. I'm gonna keep this up with you. You're right. What the fuck is he doing? If he listen, if he ain't got the boss to do it, hey, for for once in my life, I'm not actually. I'm tied with him. You know what I'm saying? He's doing this shit for the betterment of the community, man. Okay? He's worried about everyone's health, not not just his own, but everyone in the train. You know what I'm saying? Someone's gotta die. Okay? What the fuck, man? Hey, listen, he's not in the wrong. He's not even in the wrong, bro. It may have seemed like I had pushed the number one to save the old lady, but that wasn't the only thing I, was, I had been aiming for. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was trying to save the old lady. Where is it? What are you doing? Keep going. That is... Cr okay, see, now they've all just gotten saved, bro. <laughs> they've, they've all just turned into, like, murder machines. It must be around here somewhere. Huh. I found it. Oh, yeah. It was this little kid with the little grasshoppers. RIP to them, brother. Here, hold on to this. Please stop what you're doing. Killing the LA doesn't mean you're going to live. Damn, bro. They look crazy as shit. What the fuck? Yeah, no, they've all lost their minds. And he's still here looking fresh as shit. Okay. A little... <laughs> The little suit. I see you, brother. <laughs> Good. I have their attention. Let's say we kill the old lady. What's next? Good question. Yes. If that old lady dies, we'll be able to buy some time because we killed something within the given limit. But what will happen next? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> hey, we all know the answer to that question, bro. Someone else got to die. If what the Doka Bay said is true, it means we all have to kill one person each. So, who will you kill next? Will you kill the person beside you? Ha. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Nigga said I'm killing everyone. What kill losers like you next? That's tough. No need to worry about your turn beforehand. <laughs> the chances are 50 50, anyways. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna lie. Loki, I'm starting to like this dude, bro. Yes, I knew you would say that. Why gamble with our lives when there's a way to survive this without being a murderer? What? How? Nani? Have you forgotten the scenario? Didn't say we have to kill a human being. There you go. Mind for matter. It said you have to kill one or more living organisms. Smart ass nigga, bro. Insects. Of course. If we kill one of those. Literally, so easy, too. You don't even gotta freaking go through the whole the whole process of actually having to, like, kill someone, too. It's so much more simpler. The madness that had driven them to kill the old lady was not hurling towards me. That is true. Hey, I'm getting one of them freaking insects, no matter what. But why? Why is my heart beating with joy in this precarious situation? Why am I spawning? Because you want to be that nigga, bro. Why? Wait, was I kind of, Was I always this kind of person? Hell yeah, you were. Everyone has. Yuck. Crunch. What happened? He threw it? That's crazy. Oh, did he yeah, he save him for the girl though? What the hell? Hold on a second. The first kill mission has been accomplished. You will receive 100 coins as a bonus. That's tough. Find it, you asshole. Just you wait. I got it. There are three minutes left. Hey, you. What did you do? Wait, why did you do that? You could have just handed over the bugs. What's your point? There were only three insects left in the box, huh? Ha. Huh. So you threw them. Wait, so you threw them since now all of us can live? Yes. Don't be ridiculous. No one in their right minds. Wait, no one in their right mind would pull a stunt like that. I can't even fucking read, bro. No one in their right mind would pull a stunt like this for that kind of stupid reason. Be honest. You just wanted to watch them fight for their lives, didn't you? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. This, I don't care what you say. This thing is a genuine, like, just full on psychopath, okay? It's, listen, there's no hiding it, bro. You, you, you're just crazy. Like, you're just crazy. He is literally just insane. Yes, number one Kim is that kind of guy. He's cruel and rampant and enjoys situations like, of course he does, bro. Of course he does. Yo, this nigga is insane. Holy shit. How tall is he? He actually looks big as hell for some reason. Age of 19. God, bro. Uh, <laughs> a serial killer at 19 is insane. Knife fighting level one. Grim dark awakening. Holy shit. A teenage edge. <laughs> Why am I surprised, bro? Character profile, I see. I think I know what my attributes are. Yes, he has a bit, a bit of an edge. What the hell? Bro, I've heard that word so many times. What even is an edge lord? Are they like people that are cringy? Is that what it is? Edge lord. A person who, who affects a provocative or extreme persona, especially online. Typically used of a man. What? Tries to impress a shark. By posting Oh, so he just crazy, just in all, in all fashions and senses of the world. Okay. Most team edge lords can, okay, in Tosa can handle the nightmare that would become reality and commit. So, I don't know if I can even say that word on YouTube, but sure. Uh, but Namun Kim was different. He was built for this life. Holy shit! This boy who would later be bestowed with that fitting nickname was no uh, ordinary edge lord. 
His literal nickname is Edge Lord. Is that what you telling me, bro? Do I? Uh, actually, never mind. Delusional Demon. No, that's a fire ass name. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that's just kind of lucky, kind of fire. We had been waiting for the pockets for a long time, and he adapted to this world at an unusual speed. And now, wait, and right now, that delusional demon team up with me. What do you say? Oh, f hell no. This motherfucker is the exact type of dude to literally backstab you and kill you in your sleep. Literally. In, on the first day, too. Literally. No cap. Don't do it. Your understanding of Namun Ken has increased. Wants to join forces. Hell no. <laughs> Bro, I promise you, if you last if you last a week with this man in, in a freaking single dark room, you are fucking you. Something's wrong with you too. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, I feel like his crazy would just like just drive onto me if I stayed with in a in a room with him for one day. Literally, I think I think I would go insane too. Cause it clearly something wrong with him. Oh shit! Instead of, I don't even know what that word means. He's an edge lord. There he went. <laughs> I'd call him an edge lord. See, I am not the only one who spends coins here. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna do that because I'm, I'm reading this shit so freaking late, but we're gonna 3707. Oh shit, it's him. The main protagonist is in it. Where did it go? It was here just now. Move, nigga. I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Ah, sorry. I work alone. Isn't he here, though? Well, that's a bummer. If I team up with Nam Woon Kim, my survival would be guaranteed for now. Really? I doubt that. If I hadn't read Tosa, I probably would have made a different choice. But I am a reader who knows about him and his future. And after seeing him in person, then get out of my way. I have some unfinished business. He is still... Uh, but then again, I think... Did he get his kill? So, I mean, someone's got to finish the job. I can't let the Bagaka escape from my grasp. That is insane, bro. Holy shit. See, now you're just trying to get yourself killed, bro. Are you trying to act like a hero now? Or do you have a split personality? <laughs> bro. Jesus, you know what else are all the same. I realized how much I hated his character in Twessa. You think you'll be a teenager forever, right? People like you make me sick. Despises you. Namun King despises you. Your affinity towards Namun King has slightly decreased. I said, MOVE NIGGA! <laughs> oh shit, holy hell. Look at you, you're not half bad. I knew you'd make that move. This guy is exactly how I imagined he would be. Oh, 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 he's boxing. Okay, hold on, hold on. He's actually holding his own. That's the skill of the Edgelord attribute. Oh my god. Oh, oh my, okay. Holy shit. Grimdark Awakening level one. Oh my god. He already activated his skill. Yo, this nigga is a certified killer. What's this? I'm so fucking strong. Yo, they can cousin this? This is probably why the protagonist still recruited him. <laughs> Although he's, he's like a psychopath. <laughs> Literally, bro. Should I use that now? Use what? Ding. You have unlocked level one of your personal skill. I'm mission reader's viewpoint. Okay, the title of the actual. I said you there. Huh? I'm missing Reader's Viewpoint. What exactly is that? Damn it. Where did all the fucking insects go? Y'all should have moved quicker. I'm not gonna lie to, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Also, speaking of which, how the hell did she... Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, beforehand, I feel like he should have given the soldier one. The... I mean, he gave the insect... Did he give the girl a freaking insect too? Like, is he good or what? The, what are we doing? Okay, he's just certified crazy at this point. Oh my god, he's actually powerful as hell. You're... Wait, why aren't you getting hit? I mean, what does he have? Freaking... What that sound? Bro, does he... How is he able to just dodge everything? Try you on, but you won't be able to hit me. He can read his attacks. Does... Oh, shit, he can read his attacks. Oh, my God. Damn! Oh, he... <laughs> he going for a kill shot, bro. As soon as my second skill, our mission reader's viewpoint was activated. He can essentially see everything he's going to do, huh? I knew that... Wait, I knew what he was going to do. It was like I could read his mind. You fucking hell, you slimy little jerk. Bro, just give it up. God damn, you're, just, you're literally just trying, you're just tiring yourself out at this point. But all I can do is I just attack. Retaliating is impossible. I just need to hold on a little longer. Until that dude comes here. Two minutes left, kid. Fuck. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Damn. If that old lady dies, now I'm going to clear the scenario. Oh, he got to keep her alive. Whatever happens, I can't let someone like him move on to the next scenario. Damn. Uh-oh. Huh. I knew you would make that move. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh... Damn! Oh my god, bro, move! It hurts. I would I would hope so. Damn! It's a whole knife. It feels like my skin is burning. Now that I think about it, he's a military geek. Really? God damn. Bro, of course he's a military geek. Oh my god, he's a psychopath. Death is just around the corner. If I lose to Namun Kim, I, am I gonna die here too? This is a world that is simply based that is simply based on survival of the fittest. No, the world has already been like this. According to the law of the jungle, the strong prey on the weak. That's his life. Nothing has really changed rather than... 
Rather, that rule had just became clear. I must also adhere to the rule if I want to survive. Come on, Mr. Smarty Pants. You don't even have the strength to run anymore. Do me a favor and let's just get this over with. We're running out of time. I mean, he's not wrong, honestly. <sighs> if I hesitate, Namun Kim, second year student uh, at Cheong Gil High School, is an insect egg also an organism? What? What the hell are you talking about? The answer is yes, I will die. What the hell just happened? You obtained 100 points. You have killed a or living organism. Oh, damn. He oh, he getting bread. Okay, what the hell? God damn. Oh, shit. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> you don't give a fuck. You have obtained coins. Would you like a tutorial on coin usage? Hell no. Skip. And I will invest 2,700 coins in my stamina. Oh, my God. He leveling up. Oh, he on his soul 11 time. Okay. Damn. What? Grasshoppers lay more than 100 eggs at a time during mating season. What? Oh, my God. It's the attack of the fucking geek. I'm not the one who's gonna die, please. Damn it, where is it? You are okay. Oh, he still got 60 seconds. You better hurry the fuck up, bro. Fuck you, die, you asshole. Why won't you die? Uh oh. Oh, did he kill him? No way. Fuck. <gasps> no, I wanted him to survive. Damn. Uh, that's so annoying. Man scenario number one prove your value has ended. Number of survivors in cabin. I'm not 37, 38 or 7. The number. The train number 34, 34. To, I'm not even fucking try saying that five. God damn it! Everyone essentially died. Holy shit! All right. Now this is fascinating. What in the world happened in here? I was only gone for a minute, but I, look at all this mess. You don't say. Okay, okay. Gang, gang. I see you. Oh, she, so the granny. Is, that is crazy, bro. So the granny literally just died anyways at the end of the day. That's crazy as hell to me, bro. Three, four, five. Okay. So literally only five survivors got it. How, oh, he, got, he probably got one of the insects. He got one of the insects. Oh my god, I don't know how the hell he's still. I don't even know how he's still alive, bro. God damn it, that shit ain't fucking fair, bro. She still died too. It didn't even matter. Help me, please help me. I'm begging you. Why should I? People's lives are important, so it's only right that I, you save me. <laughs> this nigga, bro. No, bro. You did not go out like this, man. That's insane. That's how things were in the older, in the old world. You said so yourself. A new world needs new rules. No, bro. You did not go out like this. God damn. He went out like a bitch. <sighs> I expected more. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It is what it is, I guess. No. I don't want to die. Please help me. Nope. Fuck no. He Certified psychopath. G good riddance. You're right. I am just like you. I could have saved those people. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel guilty, but it's strange. He don't give a fuck, huh? How am I able to remain so calm? I feel like I'm just reading the novel instead of actually partaking in it. So he's he's basically just separated his mind from his body at this point. Slaughtered. That's a lot of freaking living organisms. RIP. Yeah, hey, listen. RIP to all the guys have eggs, man. Huh? I'm clean. Oh, it's on the glass. Due to killing non-resistant organisms, the number of coins you obtain has been halved. That's fucked up. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. 6,200. Co the coins you use to level your stats will be deducted. You have obtained 3,500 coins. Okay. You have unlocked. God damn! All these little freaking, bro. I cannot. St Why do you have so many goddamn little uh, notifications, bro? You have unlocked achievement, decipher due to excessive slaughtering. <laughs> oh, decimator. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. You have obtained 300 coins as a basic clear reward. 100 coins have been deducted for. This bitch ass nigga is taking everything, bro. This is insane. So he basically he just lost. So they gave him 300, he gave him 300 coins and took away a hundred for the channel. He didn't even use the channel too. Nah, this is, this is, this is insane. Additional rewards will be calculated. Bro, this is so beautiful. Oh my God. The world we once knew has collapsed and a new world is born. Oh, it's moving. We can go home now. Little do they know. And I am. Wow. What in the world? My God. Yeah, it's over for the world, bro. Literally World War Z. Now, this is fascinating. The only reader who knows how this world will end. Bro, look at this. Drippy as hell. Oh my god. What the freak? That's so, that's so fire though. Well, I mean, from a viewer perspective. <laughs> that shit would not be fire if I was living in that world, bro. Oh my god. Why are we stopping again? It's coming for us. <laughs> Boy, this motherfucker is such a bitch, bro. Oh my god. That snake like monster is called... And Itch, itch thighs, the itch thiosaur. It's also known as a sea serpent. I mean, you could have just said that to begin with, bro. 
Later on, it will be classified as a grade 7 monster in Tosa. What on earth is that? Bro, were you not listening? He just said it was an itch. I'm not going to try to say that. It's a sea serpent, bro. Pay attention in class. The world of Tosa prioritizes scenarios over everything else, so you won't be attacked by any creatures unless they are part of the scenario. We're safe for now. 1, 2, 3, 20, 21. There are 21 in total. No wonder he's so happy. The number of stars signifies the number of constellations that are locked into the channel. Constellations, they are the most mysterious beings in Tosa. The masterminds behind this tragedy who live streamed the scenario. Oh my god, they're streamers. Makes sense. Who live streamed the scenarios from across the universe. In other words, they are the ones who watch the Dokabai's channels. This channel has had 21 viewers, which is a lot for a newbie Dokabai. He's just dying of happiness. Oh shit, he got clawed like that off of this one event alone. In the original story, Namun Ken killed almost everyone in this cabin. Due to the death of Namun Kim, two constellations feel slightly hostile towards you. That's tough. Some constellations must be furious about the outcome of this error. Probably happened because I killed Namun Kim. Due to unexpected scenario inspections, your payment is being delayed. Please wait a moment. What? Bro, give me my bread, bro. Judging from how, from how the constellations prefer. Wait. Judging from how the constellations' preferences are popping up, I guess this is officially the beginning of the story. It's just unbelievable. I was in their position yesterday, but now they are the ones watching me. A few constellations are impressed with your scenario. The constellations have gifted you 500 coins. Of course, if there are constellations who hate me, there are also constellations who support me. I hope all, I hope all of you enjoy the show because sooner or later you'll end up paying the admissions fee with your lives. Dokja, are you okay? I've been trying to be. Bro. Sasuke? <laughs> bro, I sense darkness in this one. Senga, she's alive, huh? I'm sorry I couldn't save the old lady. Dokja, how are you? How are you so? Pardon? That's nothing. Earlier. Oh wait, thanks for earlier. You see the cage towards me. Oh, okay. That's how she got on there, huh? That's just a coincidence. Don't tell her that. What the hell? It won't happen again. What the hell wrong with you, bro? I don't know what she's thinking, but she was smart enough to survive this chaos. She probably understood what I said. Because of my choice, some lived while some died. I won't, I don't deserve the gratitude of those who survived. Wow. So did you all prove your worth? I see there are so many survivors. Oh my, thank you for the sponsorships to your constellations. I can't believe there are 21 constellations watching my channel. There are five survivors. That's more than I thought there would be. I expected, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's not that freaking name, bro. Hyeong he Seong Lee to survive once he's strong and athletic. Gilyong Lee, that must be his name. I was gonna, we're just gonna call him Bug Boy. Hey kid, do you want to live? This isn't sympathy. If I had to use a word to describe this, then let's team up. It would be hypocrisy. What? A few constellations are impressed with your good deed. The constellations have gifted you 200 coins. Oh, he is stacking that bread. I respect it, bro. Holy shit. He's trying to get to that bag. Even though it seems shameless, it can't be helped. Because I, too, want to live. Considering the events that will follow, I have to get the attention, I have to get the attention of the constellations. A lot of interesting, a lot of interesting things ha happened today. The guy in the next cabin also a total nutcase. Then, are you going to let us go now? Really? And lastly, Mr. Myung Go Han. He's one lucky guy. Hey, preach to the choir, brother. Preach to the choir. We did everything you asked for. But why was, why was he even taking the subway? From what I know, he's very well off. He went around every every department to, to brag about his new Mercedes. Damn, he lied about that? Hmm, let you go. Haven't you seen what's going on outside? Are you sure you want me to let you go? <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I'm staying in that train, bro. Anyways, I'm impressed. I didn't have any expectations for this cabin. But you all survived this first scenario. You have proven that even bugs deserve to survive. Damn it, we're nothing but grass grass efforts to him. Of course, every hardship deserves a reward. The reward, <coughs> the reward for the first scenario is that you are now qualified to be sponsored by constellations. Exciting, right? Sure. What's this? None of you seem excited at all. This is a pretty big deal, you know. Of course, they don't know. I'm the only person who knows what a constellation or sponsor is. Let me break this down for you. All of you are terribly so weak right now. If you were to just move on to the next scenario in this state, you would be killed by a weak ground rat, let alone a crook. But there are being there are great beings in this world who pity you and wish to sponsor you. Do you understand? What is that supposed to mean? Who's sponsoring who? Gosh, you really are hopeless. There's no point in explaining it. There's no there's no point in explaining it all to you again. Why don't you just experience it for yourself? Uh, sponsor selection. Select the constellation. The selected constellation will be your reliable sponsor. Abysmal Black Flame Dragon. Demonic Judge of Fire. 
secretive plotter, prisoner of the golden headband. First of all, let's just immediately, okay, eliminate number four. What the fuck name is that? Secretive plotter. What the fuck are you gonna give me, bro? Storylines? No, we don't. Three and four out the goddamn question. Now, demonic to the fire. That sounds kind of cool, but number one. <laughs> hey, number one though, abysmal black flame dragon. I choose you, okay? That's what I want. Four sponsors, Dojo. Two strange options suddenly popped up. I don't know anything of either. Just think of it as it as taking an aptitude test. Aptitude test. Senga was sponsored. Wait, was offered two sponsorships? I guess she's lucky too. The ones who provide support to us are the constellations and now. Sponsor selection, one of the main events in Tosa has started. The sponsor selection is a system in which the constellations who watch us through the Dokabai's channel choose a human they like as their incarnation and sponsor them. Oh, that's fire. And in my case, four constellations once one to sponsor me as their incarnation. <laughs> I'm immediately taking this one. This one right here. The Black Dragon. Abysmal Black Dragon. Take, take, that, take that one. But the constellations never revealed their true name. Constellation. Wait, considering the protagonist of Torsai initially had five options, four isn't a small number at all. Oh, so, hey, they're, they're letting you know, bro. You're him. Using the hints in their nicknames like Abysmal Demon and Garden. We must try to deduce their identities ourselves. Well, it's a piece of cake for a reader of Torsai like me. Let's see, first option. Yo, he looked gas as a bitch. Oh my god, the abysmal black flame dragon. He's a powerful being that leads the constellations group. Uh, black Cloud, from what I recall, his true name was quite long. The incarnation of the sponsor receives an additional boost to their power level, considering that stamina and strength is vital in their early scenarios. It would be smart to select him for my sponsor. Un uh, unfortunately, the benefits end there. The more you use this constellation's power, the more you lose. Okay, hold the fucking phone. <laughs> I did not know there were constellations. Are you kidding me? Eventually, you'll end up as a psychotic killer. Usually he supports Edgelord. Oh, fuck no. Uh-uh. Throw it out the window. We don't want that shit. Oh, hell no. I'm pretty sure he was the constellation who supported Namun King in the novel. So, why did he choose? <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I, I'm good on that. I did not know they came with cons. Hell no. I don't know about him. I'll just put him on hold for now. My second option is I'm gonna see her on the list. Damari's Judge of Fire. What the hell is her con then? That's her? <sighs> Judging from the name, one would assume this constellation is demonic. <sighs> but ironically, demonic means this constellation isn't a de The fuck kind of catfishing is this? What? The word fire and judge indicate that this entity makes judgments through fire. That means she's actually Archangel Uriel. Now, there's definitely no way that this is how can have cons, right? This is an actual Archangel? Right? Like, you can't even go wrong with this. Surely, surely there's something wrong with her, right? Or... Yeah, her. I remember someone chose this constellation as their sponsor in the novel. You really isn't a bad option, but I'll explore my other options first. Constellations are absolute, absolute good, are powerful. Wait, constellations of absolute good are powerful, but they impose strict re uh, restrictions on the ones they're sponsor. And the third secret of plotter. Yeah, no, I don't want you, bro. I'm good on that. What do you? What the fuck do you even? Do, what do you provide? What? I'm an avid, I'm an avid reader of Tosa, but I've never seen this option before. If I read it through more thoroughly i could probably figure it out it could be one of the constellations that were just mentioned i'm certain that it's not a powerful being let's move on <laughs> literally this adjective sounds so feeble this is the last one i can't believe this constellation made an offer already really prisoner of the golden headband prisoner of this constellation may sound negative at first but if you pay but you have to pay attention to the proper noun golden headband the smallest person in the world the owner of mount Huagua, who lives with the pain of the Binding head. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? The handsome monkey king with the golden gaze and fear. Oh my god, is that some. Uh, oh my god, him! Yes! The great sage. Heavens equals. Oh my god, that is one of the hardest fucking titles I've ever seen in my life. Heavens equals Sun Wu. That's a fucking fire name. Oh my god, what the freak? One of the characters was sponsored by him in the novel. He has the power to crush hundreds of incarnations with a single swift, with a single with a single swing of his staff, and eradicate thousands of monsters with a single bolt. Yes, oh Lord have mercy, please t please take him, please I'm begging you take him. Oh my God, bro, I love Sun Wukong. Oh my God, I still remember that passage very clearly since the author emphasized it so strongly. Why has such a powerful constellation sh shown interest in me? If I choose the Great Sage, Heaven's equal as my sponsor. What the hell could be the po now what? Will I be able to beat him? Bro, please, 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 please. I'm begging you, please, everyone. Please, I'm, bro, Sun Wukong, bro, please. I'm begging you. 
Okay, everyone, are you done? Huh, wow. Someone has made a very interesting choice. Well, there will be many opportunities to come. Well, since everyone is done selecting their sponsors, let's take a short break. I have to go prepare for the next scenario. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes? Are you kidding me? What? Where is my freaking rest break, bro? What the hell is going on here? Everyone, please gather around. Please tell me you Oh my god, I'm begging you. Please tell me you chose some Wakanda. I'm begging you. Please, please, doctor. Don't be dumb. I'm begging you. Please don't be dumb. Hi, I'm... Oh my god, bro. We gotta, we gotta come up with a new name for you, bro. Oh, we'll just call him Lee. We'll just call him Lee. Hi, I'm Lee. Dr. Kim. I'm not sure if it's the right time to be saying this, but it's nice to meet you. As I said, I'm in the army. Well, I should say I was in the army now. I'm assuming you can't get in touch with the unit. Yes. He has a strong grip. He has a strong grip. I should I shouldn't be surprised after all. He's the tanker in the early stages of Tarsa. I must recruit Lee. And Dokja, thank you for what you did earlier. If it weren't for you, we'd probably be dead by now. Even if we had survived through that method, we wouldn't deserve to live as humans. No, that's... Ha, you did it, rookie. Bro, do I know you, nigga? Hands off, bro. Hands the fuck off. Dokja, you know who I am, right? Bro, I would slap the fuck out of him, bro. Get the hell off me. Yes, Han. Excuse me, you should call me... Bro, I swear to God, bro. I'm... He needs, he needs one of these. Just a mean bitch. That's, that's what he needs right there, bro. The hell does he think he is, bro? We're not at work right now. You little brat. So you're not planning to come to... <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh, he reminds me of them niggas that peaked in high school, bro. Like, really? R really? Have you seen the one? Have you... S op just look through the window, bro. Look through the window. Bro. He reminds me of the goddamn manager, bro. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys work, but there are these managers that for some reason think that through hell and hell could literally freeze over, right? The entire store could be flooded. Their dumbass will still call you. Uh, you you coming in to shift today, huh? Fuck no, N no, bro. Some people, oh, bro, the audacity of these goddamn people, bro. Like I ain't coming in to work for shit. Fuck out of here, bro. What? What is he talking about? The world has literally ended. It is an apocalypse. You are in a train with 30 fucking dead people, bro. Who the hell is worried about work right now? What? Oh my god, he's pissing me off. Where did you learn such bad behavior or bad manners? And to be honest, it was, I was pretty offended by your little stump back there. If there were bugs, you should have told me. How dare you just throw them? Shut up, mister. Oh my god, he's pissing me off. I Unbelievable. What? Don't you see what's going on here? Should I have let, wait, should I have let that punk hit me? Wait, hit you to make you come to your senses? Me you know, soft, do you think that company even exists after everything that's happened? Literally, bro. And he's not the only one who needs a wake-up call. Everyone here needs to come to their senses. As the Doka Bai said, this isn't a joke. I'm sure all of you realize what's going on by now. A game like interface, attribute windows and skills. Is there someone who still doesn't get what's going on? Literally all brain dead. The fucking audacity of this nigga right here, bro. He is just so full of his... Like, I'm genuinely baffled. Like, why do you think you're just that nigga? You're not him. What? It's the kind of thing I read about in novels while covering the night shift. I still can't believe this is real. This isn't a dream, right? Unfortunately, this is not a reality. It's a good thing that at least one person is certain about what's going on. So what now? Do you have any ideas, Doctor? Lee has started to trust you. Your understanding of Lee has increased. You have to get out of here. To where, my guy? Like, to where? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, for once, I'm like, bro, nigga, are you... Look outside... Bro, again, do I, have to, do I have to repeat myself? Look outside the window, bro. Where are you going to go? You have nowhere to go. Are you out of your mind? Don't you? I think that's a bit... I also need to check on my unit, but I think it would be dangerous to leave the premises right now. Yeah, if we <laughs> leave, we're going to get killed. Of course. Oh, no. Even Lee is against it. I need to take him with me no matter what. Bam! Shazam, is that you? What? Are we moving on to the next scenario? I already know the the doctor hasn't come back yet. That means the person on the other side of that door is the sole, is the sole survivor of ca Subway Cabin 3707. It's him, isn't it? It was quite obvious who that was. Not to everyone else, I was assuming the true protagonist of the story. We have to get out of here. What? But if you don't leave right now, we're all going to we're all gonna die to, before the next scenario. <laughs> Damn. Doctor, we can't be sure that whatever's on the other side of that door is our enemy. Oh, brother, he's 100% sure that you... Let's just, just just trust him, okay? He's literally the person... He's the person that literally got you guys through the first scenario. Why would you not trust him at this point? Like, what, what do you have to lose, bro? He's the survivor who killed all those people in this cabin. Do you still want to beat him? Fuck, no. Let's find a way out of here. <laughs> and nearly abandoned the ship. This door is broken. Damn it. This one won't... Wait, this one won't open either. Oh, no. The invisible force field disappeared after the scenario and we just need to find that working door. This one's broken too. Even the eight doors in this cabin, we haven't checked three of them yet. 
Damn it, there has to be one door that works. Uh oh. Boy, you better hurry the fuck up. Oh shit, is he here? Subscribe, goddammit, okay? Peace.